Okay, we're doing this adventure called, they call it here in Boracay, Reef Walker. Reef Walker. We've, yeah. we've done this before we've once. We've done something once. very similar in, uh, in Guam once before. It's, uh, it's kind of like helmet diving. They put a very large uh, helmet on top of you, which is uh, uh, our oxygen is fed through a hose from the surface and you walk along the bottom of the ocean. Yeah, it's for non-divers if you want to see the beauty of the of underwater the world here. It's a, it's a cool alternative, right? Although we've tried the reef walker before, every walk is different if you do it in a different place. It's getting good, getting good. And good, it's good to see you guys here. Now it's, now it's okay. Right. Okay. Yeah, you'll get a lot of inquiries after this. <laughs> No sea bottom is the same, which makes every underwater encounter different. The best part about having the reef walker in Boracay is that now, non-divers can get the same experience as scuba divers. The reef walker platform has a stairway that goes down to about 20 feet. Once you put the helmet on, you don't even need to swim to the bottom of the sea. Once you have reached the bottom, you have the freedom to leisurely walk around without having to think about going back up to the surface to get air like you normally would if you were snorkeling or free diving. The reef walker experience makes you feel like you are part of the underwater world. And when you feed the fish with a little bit of imagination in your part, you can feel like you are having lunch with them in their home. It's an awesome feeling. So now that you know where to find the reef walker, don't let any excuse stop you from trying it. Don't know how to swim? No need to. You can walk. Don't want to get your hair wet? After the reef walker, your hair remains nice and completely dry. Isn't that funny how you're underwater and your hair is dry? I know. Come on. Weird. Ah, okay, good time. <laughs> Wasn't that fun? Huh? You enjoy it? It's weird, right? Sports Unlimited Word. The Reef Walker has arrived in Boracay. Pass it on. Through the years, the Paraos in Boracay have evolved. The sales of the Parao are now multi purpose. Aside from it being essential to the movement of the boat, the sails are now colorful works of art, as well as floating billboards for advertisements. If up to now all you can say about the Parao is that you've seen it on the beaches of Boracay, that has got to change. that you be able to say that you have taken a parao ride in Boracay. There is no better way to cruise naturally all around Boracay than via Parao. You get to enjoy the sun, the wind and the sail, surrounded by nothing but the water and its sound against your boat. It was Paula's first time to take a Farao ride, and from the way she looks, so chilled and relaxed, this definitely won't be her last on this trip. Okay, I'm gonna ask our guest first. This is your first time to ride a Farao? Yeah. So what do you think of it? I love it. I would definitely do it again. I think it will be good for Sunset as well. Yeah. Sailing yeah. like through the sunset, I think that will be nice. Yeah, but it it's also very... nice when the sun's out, yeah. right? I know, you can get tanning, a tan. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it's it. nice that it's quiet and slow. You can make arrangements to sail in a parao at any time of the day. If you happen to be with a special someone on the island, or if you just met someone you think could very well be special, a parao ride is a great way to get away from everyone for a few hours. 
spend some alone time that could lead to precious lasting memories. Trust us, especially for all you guys out there, memories of a parao ride with a pretty woman in Boracay will surely last a long time. Nothing complements a beautiful beach more than a beautiful woman. Meet our guest on this trip, Mark's co-amazing race participant, Paula Taylor. We are so happy to have you as a superstar from Thailand. Her name is Paula. Any Thai? Paula Pa. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he looks so Caucasian. Then when you do that, suddenly you just it becomes so Thai. Yeah, you get so Thai. So Mark, what do you want to ask Paula? <laughs> Paula, so tell me, I'm known in, in Thailand for being fairly sporty. And... Um, I do have a small sporty streak. I mean, I do like to do adventurous stuff and things like that, which Thai people don't really know because it's not something they actually tap into because it's not so big. Yeah, yeah. Like, everything with us. Yeah, everyone's like, oh my god, you can do that. I'm like, yeah, there's a lot I can do. They just don't <laughs> ask. Or... But why did you join the race in the first place? Because I've always been a fan of the show ever since oh, I lived in Australia. Oh, so okay. I've always been a fan and when I saw it come to Asia, I thought, oh, that's Okay, so Paula is actually half Thai and half Australian. She half was, English. Oh, sorry, half English. She was raised in Australia but has lived in Thailand for the last six, six years. years, right? So, uh, what do you think of the Philippines? I love it. I've been coming back a lot lately. For work and just for the day. Yeah. When Mark came back from the race, he was just like so happy. Something extra of course, about the, time the race. Airs. So what do you think of Mark? It's cool. Uh, Alright, sure guys. That's cool. Okay, we'll do a little question here. Favorite quality in a man? In a man? Um... Oh, there's so many qualities. Only one? Okay, two. <laughs> no, they gotta be blank Sticky, and picky, blank. Picky. <laughs> okay, so what do you like about Mark then? Does yeah. he have any good qualities? Got a no, couple. No. Okay, what? I don't want to do. I just want to say. Yeah. Oh, what's good about you? I don't know. I can't think of anything. I'd be, my parents have been trying to figure that out for years. They still come up good with Good looking. Um, he's good to talk to and he likes to people around and have fun. He's my tool guy of the Philippines. Oh. So he's always the one planning Philippines. I so think there's still Mark a lot more of Boracay than Jan. So anyway, um, well, thank you for being on our show. Thank, thank you for you bringing me along, keeping me in your experience. In my humble opinion, if you ask Mark or Paula what the best part about joining the race was, it would probably be meeting each other along that amazing journey, which, who knew, would end up with them together here in one of Mark's most favorite places on earth, Boracay. Paula Taylor, Cameron. Everybody knows that saying, when the going gets tough, the tough go shopping. That for sure though, cannot apply to the shopping you do in Boracay, simply because there is nothing tough about the way of life here. Welcome to the new and improved Talipapa. you are exposed to when on this island is great fun, great food, great beach and great drinks. Which means you are feeling great the whole time. So here's how the saying should go. When the going is great, feel greater and go shopping. Thank you. Here it's called the Reef Walker. Yeah. Uh, we talk about one.